Hey, my lovely friends, let's continue our vocabulary learning journey. I think that there's an unfolding um, understanding of God as you change and as the world changes and all we can do as human beings is to approach it from where we are and from our understanding and what we know in that moment. Right, before we come to our question down the front who had his hand up, uh, Richard, do you regard that as just clever sophistry? The first word of our lesson is sophistry. What is sophistry? This is the smart use of the language to avoid answering a question or to avoid dealing with a problem. Uh, sometimes people are a little cunning, they are a little crafty, they can be a little deceptive when dealing with a question, for instance, in a debate. So uh, the host of the show is wondering whether Professor Richard Dawkins believes that this lady has just employed sophistry with stress on the first part. I was wondering what on earth it meant. I must say. <laughs> I prefer clever sophistry myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we do have a question down the front here and I'm going to go to you. You had your hand up. Uh, just my question's for Professor Dawkins. Um, given that your previous role at Oxford University was about you know, propagating the, the knowledge of science to the public, to propagate the knowledge of science. To propagate is to spread it. We typically use this verb to talk about knowledge or news. Also, in science, when we talk about how waves move in different directions, we use the word propagate. For instance, how news is disseminated can be described by using the word pr the propagation of news and the, the way that knowledge is shared with many, many different people. Let's pronounce it together. Prop um, which I think you've done excellently with, uh, you know, The Greatest Show on Earth and also the BBC documentary that you did where you, you know, exposed the stupidity of homeopathy and so-called Eastern medicine. Um, don't you think it would have been prudent to stick on that sort of line? Don't you think it would have been prudent? Prudent means wise or tactful or sensible. So this gentleman is suggesting that it would have been more prudent, wiser for Richard Dawkins to have stuck with that line of uh, reasoning. As opposed to, to driving a wedge between religious people and science. I mean, when you drive a wedge between two groups of people, you separate them. You create that divide or chasm. In my opinion, what you've sort of done, uh, probably inadvertently, Probably inadvertently. When you do something inadvertently, you do it without really wanting to do it. So it's not done purposefully. Let's pronounce it together inadvertently. Inadvertently. It's create a situation whereby people like Steve, who are actually in control of, you know, whether our country has an emissions trading scheme, you know, believing in climate change or not, have to question science over their faith. Wouldn't it be better to separate the two issues completely and just say, this is science, this is evidence, you know, go out and make the best decisions that you can based on fact and what you, you know, believe in your own personal life should be completely separate. It's a familiar line of argument and I've met it often. Um, I think it's, that wasn't supposed to be put down, that, that's, um, it, it, it's, it's a genuinely difficult question, it's a question of political expediency. Political expediency, this is a great phrase. So let me uh, focus on the word expediency, which is about taking action quickly, um, usually in politics, but not considering all the uh, moral concerns. So sometimes governments take measures without really considering all the ethical um, consequences of that particular action. And this is expediency, expediency, it's a noun. Um, the implication of your question is that there's something about religion which is personal. The implication of a question is what it says indirectly about other things, what it implies. Implies the verb and implication is its noun which form. Which doesn't, it doesn't have any bearing, the, the, the evidence doesn't have any bearing upon it. Now as a scientist I care passionately about the truth. I think that the existence of a supreme being, a supernatural supreme being, is a scientific issue. Either there is a god or there isn't. Either there are gods or there are no, or there are no gods. That is a... But is that something really relevant for... Yes, because it's a supremely science? important scientific question. If, if the universe was created by an intelligence, then we are looking at an entirely different kind of scientific theory from if the, if the universe came into existence by natural means. If God, if, if God or gods had something to do with the creation of life, then we're looking at a totally different kind of yes, biology. Sir. So I think you can't just say religion and science have nothing to do with each other. Science can get on and you, and you let people have their own religious... Of course, you let people have, believe whatever they like. Mm. But you cannot say that, uh, that, that, that science and religion are completely separate because religion makes scientific claims. It certainly makes scientific claims about, about miracles, as I mentioned before. And you cannot reconcile S as an authentic approach to science with a belief in miracles. So let's talk about the word reconcile, which is to bring two ideas together that seem to be 
contradictory. So two opposing ideas, if reconciled, they are brought together, they are reunited. Or I suspect with a belief in uh, in supernatural cre creation, at least the very least you should say is that this is a scientific question. <laughs> so what he is maintaining is that those claims that are made about the creation of the universe um, actually should be dealt with in uh, the field of sciences because this is what physics and chemistry and all those natural sciences are all about dealing with those types of questions regarding the uh, universe and the creator of the universe. Okay, I know I'm, I'm sorry I'm going to interrupt you there because we have lots of questions. You're watching Q&A. Uh, remember, you can send us your web or video. Thanks for watching.